The radical concept of a fuel-free impossible engine has now gained far more credibility. In recent weeks, a leaked version of the paper stirred up controversy as it appeared to show that scientists had created a working M-Drive prototype. Now, the findings have officially been peer-reviewed and published. It said that the M-Drive could get humans to Mars in just 10 weeks, but experts have long argued that idea cannot be brought to life as the engine defies the fundamental laws of physics. The paper, now published in the AIAA's Journal of Propulsion and Power describes a series of successful tests carried out by scientists at NASA's Eagle Works Laboratories. Its publication means it has now been reviewed by scientists independent to the study. Essentially, the M-Drive generates thrust by harnessing particles of light and bouncing microwaves around inside a closed chamber shaped like a cone. The movement generates thrust at the slim end of the cone, which drives the engine forward. But as it has no fuel to eject. This system goes against Newton's third law, which states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In the new study, which tested if the device could operate in a vacuum, the researchers found that thrust data from forward reverse and null suggested that the system was consistently performing at 1.2 plus or minus 0.1 meganewton per kilowatt 1.2 plus or minus 0.1 meganewton per kilowatt, which was very close to the average impulsive performance performance measured in air. The supporting physics model for these conditions, according to the researchers, could be a non-local hidden variable theory or pilot wave theory for short and interpretation of quantum mechanics. Some experts have claimed that there may really be something there in the findings, but the cause might be something entirely different than what's been proposed. Rather than the quantum vacuum theory which was initially cited in the leaked version to explain the findings, a phenomenon known as the Mach effect could be to blame. According to Motherboard, the issue involved here is whether the experiment is seeing something real or not. Jim Woodford, a physicist at California State Fullerton, told Motherboard, I know Paul March, one of the lead researchers does clean work and to be honest I suspect there may really be something here. But the result they're seeing can't actually be explained in terms of the theory they're proposing. So the question is, what is causing it? Researchers in the past have proposed both the quantum vacuum theory, which states that the microwaves are pushing off virtual particles in the cavity to generate thrust and an explanation in which radiation pushes against the machine's walls. But according to Woodward, neither of these are likely to be correct as they do not follow the laws of physics. Can any disposition of microwaves inside the cavity produce thrust? There is a simple answer to that question. No, it cannot, Woodward told Motherboard. Conservation of momentum dictates that any purely electromagnetic system that is in Clothes cannot produce thrust. This is for both quantum theory and classical electrodynamics. It's physically impossible. Instead, the physicist says the seemingly impossible nature of the M drive may be explained by the Mach effect without breaking the laws of physics. By this effect, which Woodward first theorized in the 1990s, some of the force applied to an accelerating body of mass is stored as potential energy in its body rather than generating kinetic energy, according to Motherboard. This causes flux situations in the object's resting mass, and this effect could be harnessed to create the type of thrust seen in the experiments. But tests to attempt to reproduce the results of the NASA study using the Mach effect theory would be necessary to confirm this. The controversial paper was first linked on an NASA space flight forum by Australian user Phil Wilson before being taken down by administrators, reports It Times. It was subsequently published by Next Big Future and describes how early tests of the system in a vacuum, recreating the conditions of the engine if it were used in space.